Mario movie? That's a real, real I watched the Mario movie. Let's talk from the starting, shall we? Exclusive dialogue for, for the trailer, they made it like that, which, which was, I guess, fine, kind of, but, eh, I didn't really, that was fine, because what is this place was not said at the time, I don't know if I can even feature screenshots in this one, screen, uh, I mean, uh, shots of the movie in this one, because they probably copy strike me uh i mean i'm not uh, scared of getting copyright strike okay i am i am getting scared of claim but i'll take the risk not on the fucking whole channel i mean seven days for seven days i think my upload schedule is shit i mean i don't even care uh uh, if this gets claimed, uh, like demonetized and shit, that's fine. I just want this video uploaded. I don't have. I'm not getting money either way. No one is going to watch this. Ten years of the future when I come on my internet, mic, mic, what the fuck, niche internet micro celebrity. But uh, that was a good movie, actually. I mean, it starts off with the. Uh, with the Italian accent, you already have the Charles Martinet cameo, cameo with the commercial. Then, then they show Spike. I was not able to put my finger on it. What uh, was Spike? But uh, later in the movie, they showed this. I don't know if I'm showing this, but it's the cloudy the meatballs are running, the policeman running. They, they just they fucking oh. They revamped Spike so much and I love it actually. That's a great revamp. And um, what else does Spike do? He also looks kind of like the Clash of Royale King. <laughs> <laughs> also Luigi was a bitch, was a wimpy ass. But at least it got better in the end. They were thrown out into the fucking Badlands and shit. Shy Guy Raven. There are a lot of references in this movie. They packed in a lot of references. A lot. I mean a lot. The scenes were amazing though. I love watching it. I mean Bowser singing. You have that. It is a great movie. I'll say that. We have Bowser singing. There is so much. I don't think I even would mention all the parts because I be forgetting something. There are some obvious references and uh, Easter eggs, but at least they didn't pack it like this is an Easter egg. This is an Easter egg. They, it actually felt like a Mario World. Super Mario World. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, now let's take a look at this. It, it's blind, but it's good. I'll say that. You have the Luma. There's the suicidal Luma. That was a good touch. It was a good touch. I mean, please, Galaxy be the next movie. I mean, the next movie is literally going to be Yoshi. I don't know why. I mean, you could have Yoshi like Super Mario Galaxy 2. But... Um, why did I show the Yoshi egg when they already showed the Yoshi world in the montage? I don't know why. Also, Fire Peach was literally for no reason they showed it. She just lit a full fire. I also am so actually, there's actually not even a fucking implied love scene or whatever. Thankfully, there's no romantic thing. It was actually Brotherhood. Just brotherhood indeed, and it's great. I'll say that was good. And they put Bowser in the jar. They put a fucking Bowser in the jar. Also, I am kind of disappointed there was no Giga Bowser. I'm just realizing that there was no Giga Bowser. Yeah, I guess we could save that for the Smash movie. And oh God, what else was there? Yeah, the Toad. I mean, it was for the comic relief, but it was great. And then you have the Kongs. 
Gongs were I actually really good. I did not expect them to be that good. I mean they made the Mario Karts. They had to do something with the Kongs, like they had to make it like a highly civilized developed society, so they did that. But uh, was it good? It was. It was. I mean, Diddy Kong had a cameo there along with Dixie and that other thing. I called it Lanky Kong. I don't think it is Lanky Kong. I have I forgot. It's from uh, DK64. I know that. I've seen the model. I don't remember. DK Rap was not unexpected because uh, Seth Rogen said it uh, earlier that he wants the DK Rap to be in the film. So obviously they put it. It's a cat Mario. And that was pretty good. Yeah, actually, that was pretty good. I mean, if you're watching this uh, by not being a F Mario fan, uh, I mean, you're not going to get the references. It's probably a mid movie for you. But as a Mario fan who has not played uh, many, most of the Mario games, I've probably played more spinners. So wait a minute. Every Mario fan has basically played more spinners. There are more spinners than main games of Mario. I mean, that is how it works in what you think, I guess. Uh, so the references were a lot. You already uh, going into the movie. You have the normal Mario references and stuff. Also, they didn't feature the, the eight, was it? Eight Mario Brothers from the uh, Super Show, I think, was it? They just had a you know, family or something. Which is just kind of good. Also, you going into the movie, you throw in a kid dress reference, and there's a Mario reference, of course. This Pauline, at least. Pauline's actually in the real world, not in the Mario world. Huh? Uh, so, you have that, and uh, the next reference for Mario V, I think. Also, that. Uh, that scene where Luigi and Mario get separated, that literally looked like a mad ultimate scene where the spirits return to their original places or whatever. No, that actually looked like Smash Ultimate. <laughs> of course, that was the reference, probably. Yeah, the suicidal woman. There are more, so many suicidal things in the movie. You've got the suicidal woman, this fucking paratrooper who was the was the general of the King Koopa army. He sacrificed himself as a blue shell. I mean, at least you had a blue shell in the movie. No, uh, and you had the you had comic, of course. No, uh, we are talking about suicide characters. You, uh, the Pe Peach, literally lit a fucking bomb. Bomb. King Bomb was lit. Fucking died. They killed King Bomb. Can't believe they killed a fucking. It was actually so fucking funny. That was not funny. Why did he die? He did, didn't deserve to die. I mean, we should protect King Bomb up at all costs. Come on, guys. Why? Why? How? Why, why? Why? It shouldn't have died. It should not have died. Come on. Just don't think it should have died. Why did it die? Okay, then you have the. Hmm. Yeah, I was talking about the Donkey Kongs. Cranky Kong, you know, it's really for the comic relief too. But you know, sounds like a normal guy, but you had to add some fucking old accent in there. You didn't. I really like the DK and Mario's uh, rivalry. That was actually cool. And I didn't get the fish reference. What was that fish from? I got the blooper and the cheap cheap oh yeah is it called the cheap cheap so okay. i don't know you also had a reference where i don't think that was a reference it was just for the funny uh it was a uh, mario getting on the face a cheap cheap on the face which uh, might have been a reference to the original Mario Brothers movie, I don't know, 1983 was it? 1983 when 
the way the Mario dances with the with a woman that is referenced to be the cheap cheap uh, that movie was weird okay the actors did not know of the what Mario even was when doing that movie. that's how deranged that is and uh, you had you had Bowser I really fucking liked how they made the the I don't know how Jack Black just perfectly inculcated Bowser as a as its own also yeah uh, the voices yeah I'm gonna talk about that but first Bowser Bowser was literally so well done probably my favorite character in the movie it was so well done by Jack Black he knocked it out of the park obviously the I mean I have not played much of Mario at all I have to play it I want to play it <sighs> but still though it was amazing how Jack liked it uh, okay I'm not providing any reason why he did it look he wrote a whole song on he wrote a whole song by himself and sang it then you have the cha chaotic and goofy personality of Bowser which it should be that should be Bowser and it was like that I I'm glad they didn't do anything botch anything of Bowser and there were no Fortnite dances thankfully no fucking Fortnite dances there were there, was, there wasn't a dance scene was it was there a dance scene I don't think so there was not a dance scene uh, then you talk about Chris <laughs> when he actually there were news that when he actually voiced Mario his Mario voice was actually so hideous they they told him to use his normal voice yeah and uh, there were some explanations in the movie uh, we, 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 we got to see the training scene which was pretty cool and uh, I was actually against the uh, I mean I believe it's damsel in distress idea of Peach anyway but uh, they 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 did it great with Peach so now it's how I see Peach has been a uh, really change for me uh, and uh, what the fuck was I saying uh, yeah that lava scene when uh, you know the wedding scene when the uh, it had to be sacrificed. Luigi and others had to be sacrificed. I was on my seat because it was getting too close. Obviously, Luigi won't die. But it was, the lava was getting way too close for Luigi. And he just jumped in the, in the next frame. He jumped on top of the... the isn't lava still there? Isn't the steel hottest? Because I didn't even want to question that. That was my only nitpick. Uh, you had your Mar Odyssey references, you had your every other reference and uh, uh, obviously we all knew that uh, Mario and Luigi will be using the star I mean only Mario for sake will be using the star for the to defeat Bowser and that was great and you got Ice Peach I speech also you have fired on kick on yeah whatever fired fired okay. uh, they did not show fire Mario they did not show fire Mario they just they just they just said no they just said no directly in the bowl uh, DK uh, really DK really didn't look like his father didn't love him but actually used him as a you know he was proud of him but he was cranky was proud of dk but uh, he was kind of used for you know thing it's a complicated thing if you've been treated like that you probably know how it works but uh, you also heard the you know, i've mentioned nice speech yeah the poor, uh, no, it's not the post credit scene but Mouse sings again. Uh, you had uh, the ending, yeah. yeah. It ended after that. 
I thought Mario would wake up in Brooklyn again, but I'm so glad he chose to stay in Mushroom Kingdom, which is... Is it sequel bait? Is it really? And they throw in the Mr. Blue Sky at the end, like anything else. I don't watch movie. I don't watch Super Mario. I don't even... I mentioned that at the last. I think I'll make it a 20 video and just get off it. The Mario movies are great, you know, you know. Fucking hell. Uh, the Mushroom Kingdom was actually beautiful. I don't even deny it. It was beautiful. They could do a sequel, they could Yeah, Bowser Jr. was there. And that was another thing. But you know how much could they even cram into a movie. There were a lot of war crimes in the film. You had them knocking out a rainbow road. Yeah, rainbow road. The, 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 that's just present in the Kong Island. Also, how many... Also, Peach's backstory, kind of. Yeah, backstory, like... We wouldn't get guess that by ourselves. And, of course, you have the end. Well, I already talked about it. Do you have dementia? I'm turning into Joe Biden. Biden blast. Mario movies. Great. 9 of 10. I don't watch movies. Come on. Uh, I think I had one little more thing to mention because I will turn off the recording and I know I will miss it. So let it. Yeah, Mario. There were a lot of mischaracters who weren't there. Uh, I didn't want Rosalie or Daisy to be in the film because they have to be in the sequels. Come on. Uh, please be in the sequels. If uh, you are going to make a sequel with. Uh, Yoshi and Mario World and shit. You wanna do the Mario World and stuff? Eh, you already did it. What do you even have in world? You can have Bowser Jr. chasing you. Bowser Jr. chasing you. You can have Birdo and what else? Daisy. Uh, there's not much if you don't inculcate Galaxy. Uh, yeah. I don't have any content anymore, I guess. Mr. Beast, please make another video so Twitter cancels you so that I can finally uh, cover our story that is. You can make it 8 minutes and do it like every other YouTuber. Oh, uh, yeah, Mario movie. As a self proclaimed Super Mario fan who hasn't really played any of the Mario games, I've never finished a Mario game. And uh, as a non movie watcher, uh, I hate that I watched another movie before this. I this was going to be the first movie of the year for me, but I accidentally watched another one. I just the really blanked out of my mind. Watched it, but uh, as a self-proclaimed non-movie watcher, this movie is a nine out of ten. As a Mario fan, of course, who hasn't finished any of the games. Comparisons: I watched Sonic One and Two. I've not watched Sonic like Two. So I couldn't compare it to that, but uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic was definitely worse than this. I'll say it like that. Uh, so Sonic was uh, really meant to be like he's an alien and kind of thing living in the human world. But Mario was faithful to it. Mario was faithful to its uh, source. And Sonic, uh, you know, the rings, uh, they're kind of, you know, it might be level stage and thing. Things and stuff. I'm gonna return up my notifications. You know, the rings might be at the end of the level or whatever the rings, but uh, they're still for a, for a guy that does not even play Sonic. I mean, Sonic 2 was definitely better than the first one. It was that was pretty good, back with all kinds of stuff. That was good. Sonic 1 was the one that I think is really kind of bad. I didn't really like it. It was too bland for my taste. It just felt like, you know, it kind of felt like dead, you know. Kind of felt like dead. I don't know. I'll repeat that like again as a Mario fan who hasn't completed any of the games and I'll self proclaimed now. And as a self proclaimed non movie watcher. Mario movie is a 9 after 10. That's my life. Uh, yeah. Bye. I am stopping.
hope I get my stuff next.